Hello, welcome back. Today we will discuss about uh, future prediction of land use land cover changes. For this purpose, you need to add your classified images. I am here as one image is 2000, to, uh, 2000 year and the one image is 2023 year. First, you need to go to the plugin bar. Here, you need to click on manage and install plugin. Then search your a plugin name, name as Moles. Uh, if you are not installed for this purpose, you need to download it from QGIS repository or searching here. Uh, so we will tell about how to install the models plugin for this purpose you simply open your browser uh, open your internet browser uh, here you need to insert this link and this uh, plugin click here on download button uh, it is downloaded you can see is that the zip file is downloaded and then you go on your downloaded folder or downloaded location okay this is my downloaded location here you can see that this is the mollus uh, i'm going to unzip it after unzip it you need to copy open it and uh, copy this folder and go to you see then users then your user window here you can see is that dot qgs2 open this folder here the one folder is named python then go to the plugins there is two folder expression and plugin then go to the plugins here you need to paste this plugin the link of this plugin i will be sharing in the description of this video you can see that i already installed that's why the error is appear here replacing i'm going to replace that plugin okay after that you can uh, turn off your qgis and uh, restart it the plugin will be appear here okay after the complete installation of plugin uh, you need to go raster okay here there are two layers one is 2000 the second one is 2023 and uh, after understanding both layers you need to classify it here you need to select the single pseudo color and uh, uh, to make the seven classes one seven and change from continuous to e okay after this you need to classify this and uh, go to the uh, this folder and uh, go to the layer properties then select the select style tab here you can see is that uh, we are going to make its classes uh, minimum uh, it is equal interval then increase from five to seven because I make the seven classes during the classification you can see is that the classes are made and same process can do with the second layer okay the second layer you can change it from one to seven then change from equal interval then increase to and classify it you can see is that the two classes you can see the difference between them okay it is a difference between you can already see is then you need to go raster and there is a plugin that you installed named as a molus the first step is that to add the initial layer and the final layer for this purpose you need to click on your initial layer that is 2000 layer lglc 2000 is your initial layer here you need to click on it and uh, click on initial button then you can select the lglc 2023 and then click on final button after completing this step uh, you need to input your spatial variables you can take the spatial variables your initial layer click on initial layer and then click on add button yeah, your spatial variable is added okay then you need to click on check geometry if your geometry is corrected then you have to move on the next step the next step is about to the evaluation of correlation for the evaluation of correlation we are going to select the Pearson correlation method for this purpose you need to click on check button if there is no error appear here then it's mean that the correlation is corrected with your spatial variable okay the next step you need to go area changes here you need to select the square kilometer and then update click on update table button it take from one to two minute in updating the table and calculating the change in area uh, so do you have no any worry about why it is taking time because it is a time taking process within of one to two minutes your process is completed the next step you can see is that the process is almost going to complete okay it is about 99 percent 
then it is 100%. Okay, you can clearly see is that the area changes reduction and uh, which area is increases that is in positive value the area that is it grows it, uh, it it is in negative values uh, the next step is that you need to create the change map then there is uh, option create changes map you can see is that here the areas are negative and positive then click on create change map button okay the new window is appear here yet you need to uh, put the name of your map i'm going to type transition map and uh, click on save button it takes uh, from one to two minute after completing the process you have to move on the next step that is about modeling transition modeling the next step is about transition modeling okay okay here you need to just click on train uh, train neural network and your model is running uh, and you can see is that your model is running here and one is the validation the red line is the validation line and uh, the green line is basically training the model it is a neural network learning curve here you can see is that the accuracy is it is about 80 0 0.87 it means that the accuracy is about 87 percent but at the end of the process the accuracy is about 0 0.85 percent it means that the accuracy in our data and its validation that is uh, about 85 percent this is button that is used for saving the fig the next step is cellular automata stimulation uh, here you need to uncheck this dialog box and uh, create a prediction map for this purpose you need to click here and save it with the name of prediction map and then click on save button and then the final step is that to click on start button it is time taking step so you need to don't worry about this it takes a time okay after completing it open the arc map and export your final map into them uh, so we are going to design our layout view in our arc map it takes a time so you can see is that the process initialize and uh, then the next one after one to two percent you can see is there is a writing as a prediction of the process uh, for the better uh, you can see is that there is a prediction that is one percent and so on it is completed then after completing your final map is i am exporting in the art map here i am going to classify my map for this purpose uh, we need to uh, click here and go to the symbology then you need to classify make a seven classes and uh, change the color according to your uh, variables I am going to first class is about the water the second one is about grassland the third one is about cropland and uh, the fourth one is about shrubs and the fifth one is build-up area the sixth one is barren land and the last one is about to the sand you can see is that the prediction map is ready that is the prediction 2016 uh, you can clearly see that this is our prediction map so hope you understand very well now we are going to design our layout view so first you have to add the legends go to the insert button then add legends from there then after adding the legends the next step is to add the north arrow okay select this one and insert the north arrow then now uh, the next step is about to adding the scale bar here you need to type 2016 okay or oh, sorry 2026 and then the next step is about to add the scale bar select the scale here and place it here okay you can see is that the map is completely designed then go to the properties of your data frame then click on grid button then select the 
major grids then only labels then finish it then okay you can see that the latitude and longitude values are uh, and the beautiful map is created thank you so much all of them